हेलो एवरीवन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू चैप्टर चैप्टर ट्वेंटी फोर आर यूनिवर्स इन दिस मॉड्यूल वी विल लर्न अबाउट यूनिवर्स हेवनली बॉडीज एंड आर सोलार सिस्टम सो लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड फर्स्ट व्हाट मेक्स अप यूनिवर्स आर अर्थ एंड आर सोलार सिस्टम When we look up from an open ground we see the sky in a clear night sky we can see many stars they are very far away from the earth some stars are prominent the word prominent means some stars we can easily see you can see them very very clearly while some are tiny and faint that is the very very small and faint means we hard we can see them if we look at them carefully we find that many of them twinkle but some do not the sun and the moon are comparatively close to the earth that means they are much much closer to us than all the other heavenly bodies some of the stars are very far away from us the sun the moon are very very close so we can see their round shapes clearly isn't it we can see the sun is round the moon is round the sun the moon the stars the planets satellites comets asteroids etc are all known as heavenly bodies and all these things like the sun the moon the stars satellites etc are called the heavenly bodies and all these things make up the universe now let's learn what are stars the heavenly bodies that twinkle are called stars heavenly bodies means all the things that we can see in the sky so the things that we can see in the sky and the twinkle are called stars stars have they are on light the sun is a star it is closer to us than any of the other stars hence it appears big and brilliant just like all the other stars even in the sun is a star but sun is a much closer to us than all these tiny dots that we see in the sky twinkling they also as bright as the sun but the sun is very very close to us so it looks very big and brilliant brilliant means it looks bright very very bright in its bright light during the day we cannot see other stars that the stars are present in the sky even during the day but we cannot see them because of the bright sunlight once the sun set there is no light in the sky so we can see the stars now let's learn what are planets the heavenly bodies that do not twinkle are called planets planets do not have light of their own they get light from the stars planets revolve around the sun even as they rotate around themselves it means that they move around themselves as well as they go around a particular star our earth is a planet it gets its light from the sun it moves around the sun its movement around the sun is called the revolution of the earth so when the earth takes one round the sun it is called one revolution the besides earth there are seven other planets that revolves around the sun they are mercury venus mars jupiter saturn uranus and neptune so these are all the other planets that are there a part of the earth the earth and the other planets together there are eight planets
every planet in the solar system revolves around the sun that is it is goes around the sun along a specific path a specific path means it has its own way in which they travel it will not move away from that path this path is known as that planet's orbit the sun which is a star and the planets that revolves around it are together called the solar system besides the planets the solar system also include various other heavenly bodies like dwarf planets dozen of moons millions of asteroids comets meteorites etc now your homework is draw the solar system along with their name